What's up? This is Ryan. And Phil. Phil, we're back at it. We're going to be playing head to head. Mm -hmm. And this time around, we're playing Crunch Time. Yes. This is a new release from Eagle Griffin Games. If you're familiar with um, sports games like uh, Baseball Highlights, this is uh, Mike Fitzgerald, the uh, person who created uh, Baseball Highlights, um, created Crunch Time. This is a basketball themed yes. um, two player head to head game where players are using cards mm -hmm. and essentially trying to uh, outscore each other on a half court um, board. So mm -hmm. um, let's get to the table and show you what's going on. Um, thank you to Eagle Griffin Games for providing this so that we could show a playthrough of the game, but also do additional coverage um, for this title. So we're going to, uh, let me show you the basics of the board here. We've got our three point shots right here around the rim. And then we've got uh, all of our two point shots right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. um, both Phil and I, Phil, you are the red player distinguished yes. by the red, red border, half of the board red half yep and i'm the blue player so i've got the blue uh blue tokens here you've got the red tokens everybody right. starts on these starter uh this little star right here on these uh right around this this edge right here this horseshoe um you've got your starting locations we're going to start paired up like that mm -hmm. and then we're going to move into positions trying to outshoot each other and uh i'll show you the anatomy of a card real quick and let's just orient it uh so that it's, it mirrors the board so this right here this is the orientation of one of the cards uh the cards are labeled uh one through 69 because there are 69 cards in the game we're only going to be playing with 14 cards yes so they get shuffled and then dealt out seven cards a piece this right here is the three shooting spaces for uh, that are available to the person who plays this card whether it's the red player or the blue player uh, you will shoot from this two point this two point and this three point location um, anybody who is unguarded anybody who's unblocked will make those points so if phil plays this card right and he puts those three players in those locations he will score for every unblocked player now um, there are five rounds in this game and so we are going to play through those five rounds but in the fifth round we're going to actually play two shot cards and during rounds one through four at some point we have to play two shot cards it's at our discretion when we do it Strong so we're going to have a making. yeah yeah it's it, it's tough we played a couple games before this and mm -hmm. it's a, it's a tough decision to make when to play those yes phil phil clearly won both games <laughs> so hopefully on camera i can win anyway there's some other mechanics that we're going to talk about shortly um but we play a distinct um uh, uh, uh offensive and defensive round for each player so this is how we start the game uh seeing who goes first we're going to pull the top card off the deck for each of us and this is going to be basically like an initiative uh the higher card 20 i have won the tip off i've got the one the one and so i've won the tip off so i'm gonna go first all right, all right. Uh, you want to deal yep deal seven cards to each of all us right. you deal one to each of us how about yes. that uh this is the star cards i'm going to show you what those do in just a moment Star cards are basically unblockable shots if you can make it work in your favor. So right. um, it's interesting. This is not a simulation of a basketball game. Uh, this is a little more of like a strategic placement uh, basketball game where the defense can actually score points on their turn, on the defense turn. So um, let's. I'm gonna, just going to show my cards to the camera here. These are the cards that I'm working with. And then my star card. The star card has a uh, location which would be an unblockable shot as long as it matches up with the shot card that you're playing. And we each get one uh, star card to start the game. So, Phil, I'm going to... I won the tip off, so I'm going to go first. Yes, um, sir. The first thing that I do is I play a card... Let's see what I want to play. One of the great challenges in this is kind of figuring out what your sequence mm -hmm. is going to be, how you want to organize with the tools you have. Yep. 
but it's really interesting how the game kind of evolves as you get the information of where's your opponent go- mm-hmm. going, you know. A wonderful game of cat and also cat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I'm looking at a couple options here. Okay. I think okay. I know what I'm playing. By okay. all means, let's go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my card right here. Card number 67. Uh, orientated for the viewer here. This is the card that I've chosen to play. Ideally, I want to position myself in those locations to get off the most shots. Aww. So there's a couple things that are happening. Um, this is the card that I play, and then I'm going to get movement of my pawn, my tokens. Okay, I'm allowed to move two tokens, up to two tokens, up to two spaces because I'm on the offense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this first token, one, two, and then I'm going to move my second token, one, two, okay? And uh, the reason why I did that, because I am in each of the zones on this card. There's one of my teammates represented in each of those zones. So now that that has been accomplished, I get a star card. This is an optional, uh, I may pick up a star card if I've matched uh, those zones, which I'm going to do because it's only helpful. It's free. It's free. Um, and I am going to play a star card um, to go with my position. This star card right here says the person in this position, uh, this two-pointer right here, they are going to get basically an unblocked shot. Okay, so now, Phil, you have an opportunity on the defense. Mm-hmm. You're going to be able to respond using uh, a card from a shot card from your hand. Now, you viewing at home may be thinking he's looking at his hand a whole lot more than he's looking at what Ryan just did. And the reason for that is the way I defend needs to still be advantageous to what I want to do later. Yeah. And right now, I am not feeling good about most of what's going on right here. It's interesting because you don't want to leave yourself in a position right. where you can't put your people in the positions that you need to for your offensive move. So, Okay, well, let's just get to it. Okay. I'm going to go and block your three-pointer. So you're, you're going to play the shot. Uh, oh, you don't no, play no, no. the shot. No, no, no. I'm just moving one, one yep. piece one space on yep. defense. So on defense, one person, one player, one space. That's all he gets to move. Okay. That did not feel good. Okay. So now you have the option of playing a star card, yes, which would earn you I points. I will not be doing that. Okay. All right. So now this is the last part of this round, uh, the offensive phase of this round. For me, uh, we're going to count up the points. So for every area that is every zone that's represented here that has a player that is not blocked uh, I'm going to score points okay so we've got three points here mm-hmm. we've got a blocked player here we've got two points here we've got a blocked player here and a blocked player there now we move on to the star card the star card lines up with a zone that my person's in on the card that I played that player is going to score an additional two points. Doesn't matter if he was blocked or not, I'm getting two points, okay? So the star card goes back into the bottom of the star card deck, and then this card gets set off to the side to show that I've already played uh, my first offensive um, round. And so, Phil, it is now your turn on offense to see what you can do. I can weep. I, can, I will cry. I can be very sad very quickly. That's, I think, where I'm headed. Um, all right. So the challenge now is trying to figure out, do I want to play a one-card round or a two-card round? Mm-hmm. And with the tools that I have at my disposal, it is not going to be a two-card round. Okay. What I am going to do is... Even though it's not particularly high scoring, 
I'm going to run my players straight into your defenders. Now, that may not be super wise, okay. you know? That may not be the most wise of plays, but we're we're trying something. Yeah. Um, so, I have... Oh, so sorry. We'll show, no problem. Go uh, for it. So, we'll show the card right here. The 68 is what uh, Phil played, and so he's got two... Uh, he can position two of his uh, players up to two spaces away um, to make that happen. So the play that I did make, I feel pretty confident that I'm landing a three-pointer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the game's not running away quite yet. Yeah. And so now, uh, in my, I'm um, oh, on defense right one now. One moment. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. did satisfy all of my conditions. Let yep. me see if I can yeah, if I can do a little more. I can do a little more Ooh, and like will do a little more. Oh, man. That's, uh, I'm worried about your score running away a little bit. Yeah. So, so yeah. in this situation, I don't want you scoring two three-pointers. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't have an option. Because on defense, I can only move one token, one space. Correct. So at best, I'm blocking one of the two of them. Mm -hmm. So you're scoring six, six points, points no matter what. Yeah, it looks like a so, pretty good swing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to jump in here. I move my one defender right there. Okay, hold uh, the two-pointer. He's pointer. blocked. Yep. yep. Okay, so now let's do your score. All right, so I have one unguarded player who's yep. going to shoot a three, and then yep. I have that same player shooting an unblockable three. So we are bringing it back down to a one-point advantage for you. That's right. All right, and All so that right. was your first offensive. So we've both played our first round offense uh, and defense, and now it's in round two. Round and two. And remember, we've got seven cards. They all have to be used at the end of round five where two cards are played. So let's see what I want to do. I'm going to check my star card to see if it's worth using. Okay. And then it is... Time to sink some baskets. Okay. Curtis Blow would be proud. Oh, yeah. You're shooting basketball. Oh, I can. Hmm. All right. Uh, I'm going to make this Alrighty. happen. I'm going to play two oh, cards this round. No. So uh, I'm playing two shot cards this round. They have a lot of the same positioning. And so that's why this one, I want it to overlap as much as possible. So I played two. Um, now I have to move my players into position. So uh, my first move will be player one. I'm moving one space. And then player two. Oh, the spaces. bottom line. I was about to say, you're not going to make it. No, no, I made you it. You got it. And you so, got it. Okay. So what I've done is I've accomplished both of the zone requirements for these cards, which mean that I'm allowed to take two star cards. You could choose not to. I could choose not to, which makes no sense. You know... Um, and I am good. There's nothing else that I can play, and now it's your turn. So the good part is I've Ugh. played far enough away from you, yeah. but I've also left you undefended. That is so, so many three-pointers. Yeah. So are you, are you going to defend, or are you going to leave yourself in a position that if your cards work out, you're, you're undefended? Mm. It's not great. I for am, either of us. I am quite unhappy with you, sir. There we go. Quite unhappy with you. Unless... Can I... Nope, that won't get there. Nope, never mind. No unless. Um, I have to stop the three-pointer. I can I can absorb four points. Four points is workable. Then I'll do. Okay. All right. Step one. Stop the points. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and block that three okay. on both counts. Uh, you'll get four points, points on your inside players. Two points there. Yep. Two points there. Yes, sir. Four points total. I'm back up to five. And now I can resume thinking about. What in the world can I do here? Okay. 
Yeah, and pretty clustered Phil up. Phil had an opportunity on defense. He could have played a star card if it was something that made sense for him. This way, he kind of offsets those points. So. Yeah. So we're... Oh, that was the second round for you. This is second So round. I have yeah. three options here. Uh... Uh, point these tokens towards okay. the camera here. I like the little wooden pieces. I'm. Uh, they are quite nice. It's nice, nice little, uh, nice little pieces. I would like. Oh, that's not going to do anything. That is not going to do anything, but we're 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 going to try and we're going to try and improvise okay. here. That is not the improvisation that I. No, it is. It is okay. We're going to play two as well. Okay. I've got my three point shooters in position already, so here are my two cards. Yep. Whoop, there we go. Um, I've got my three-point shooters in position. I have one of my players down in the key, so I need to get two more in line. I'm going to bring... And just so you know, he doesn't have two. to have them in position. It's just that he gets the bonus option two. of pulling a star card if he can get... Uh, if he can match those patterns. So right now I'm in a pretty easily defended position, but I'm counting on star cards to kind of do the heavy lifting. So you're getting two star cards. I have cards. just satisfied yep. two star cards. Yep. I appreciate what they have done for me. Oh, geez, that does not sound good. So I'm going to play... So on offense, you can play as many star cards as you want. On defense, you can only play one star card. I have just satisf satisfied two Ooh. additional two-point plays. That's not good. So I'm I'm looking at four points guaranteed unless Ryan has something in hand. All right. So i got to stop the bleeding a little bit. I'm going to play a star card being on defense. Uh, I'm in this position Before right Before you here. do that, you want to um, make your move? Do, uh, do I want to move anybody? Yes, I do. <clears throat> um, let me actually move. I'm going to be fine with whatever happens. Uh, <laughs> I need to block somebody. Yes. Okay. So now okay. I'm going to play a star card. I'm going to go ahead and receive points right here, mm -hmm. even though I'm on defense. And so I'm going to put that down. All right. All right. So now let's calculate points. Okay. All of my players are blocked except for one. I have my little two-point shooter down two here. So two points towards me. Yep. That one's done. Same guy scores again. Everyone yep. else is covered. I will receive... Four points from two point shooters unblockable. Yep. One, two, three, four. And now. Now, defense star card right up here. I'm going to get three points. One, two, three. Back to one. Okay. All right. So this goes at the bottom of the star card deck. And now it's offense round three. Let's okay. <clears throat> and so Phil and I both have four cards left in our hands. But one, two of those cards are being used for round five, uh, so we have to decide how to allocate these these uh, next couple of rounds. Okay. The good news is we know you're not going to be pulling another two star card turn until late. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I think you have to think a couple rounds ahead because you don't want to use something that you have you really need later. So, let's do this. Okay, let's try this. I'm playing card 43 right there. That's the shot card that I'm playing. Um, I get two, two uh, player movements. One, two. And then the other one's going to be one, two. Everything so, satisfied. Uh, everything satisfied on the shot card. I'm going to get a new star card. Okay. So now I'm going to make a decision on if I'm going to play one of these star cards. I will. I'll play this star card right here, which I've got that player on this card. So that's the end of my offensive 
set up. Oh, How are you going to defend? Terribly out of position. You are about to get. Well, I'm, so I'm pulling many myself points. away from you, but I think that I'm really worried that you have the cards to shoot from where you're at. No, because no. if you do, I'm messed up. Why I can't get back would to you I have one nice movement. things? So. All right, this guy's not shooting at all. I have you covered. I can't defend any of your other players. This is all set up now. Yeah, this is just you preparing this is just for raw your setup. Your uh, offense. Okay, so I don't need that one. I don't need this one right now. I am going to. I'm going to enjoy this setup. I go. only stopping three points either way all right oh, how do i get there hang on okay <laughs> <clears throat> this is uh i like the tug of war of this game because it's very you really have to be thoughtful about where you're positioning yourself you yeah know. and even though the board is very interconnected it's yeah. you still have to make sure that you can reach like i can't take the guy from down here in the paint oh, yeah, yeah. up to the three-point line yeah you um, can put yourself in a bad yeah. position i i found myself in a bad position the last round that we the last round that we last game that we played because i put two of my uh players too far down into uh near the basket and wasn't able to get back up to that three-point line and he's just shooting all over me i think that's what i wanted to okay do. that's your one defensive move yeah that's my one defensive move okay uh, um, any star cards none none because okay. i do not have presence where i need presence okay all right so <clears throat> let's calculate the points here we've got oh, this guy this right here hurt. three points one two three We've got another three point one two three. We've got a blocked person here. Oh, We've got two points here, and then we're gonna go to the star card, which is unblockable. One two three. Oh, so I'm, so ugly. I'm up eleven. This is the most scoring I've done this in is, the three games that we've and played. And we're together. dangerously near mercy ruling. So, um, yeah. So Phil mentioned mercy rule. If if one of the players hits 15, uh, Mercy Roll stops the game and uh, awards the win to the player who surpasses 15. I'm not going to get there, though. <laughs> no? No. You sure? You came back and <clears throat> beat me bad last game. I did, however... The only thing I have going for me is the cameras are on the board. Exactly. Yeah. I have a I have a losing record. That's true. With with games on camera. I used my beginner's luck already. You used it twice. Beat me twice. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's my turn to win. I don't like that. I would prefer if you didn't. Yeah. Um I can do this. Go. One, two. Yuck. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm just constantly running into coverage. This is frustrating. Like I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. We're going there. Then next turn... I'm going to the other part is which players move mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. force reactions because you're getting two movement being on the offense and then i'm mm -hmm. only getting one movement on the defense One, two. Wait, no. Two. Yeah, one, two. One, two. 
Okay. Yes. What's this? Uh, let me just confirm. Star card. Current star card is not getting played. I did qualify for a new one. Okay. Um, we'll take. Oh, okay. A two pointer. All right. I have to try and pull your score back I'm down. Move my yeah. guy right there. Um, and then that's actually a oh no star card for me to offset it. Okay, so it's only a two point. Yeah. So you're gonna um, mercy rule gonna go this. Through this. this is... Those are blocked. You're gonna shoot here. Yep. You get just two the points. two pointer. And then blocked here. Your star card scores two, and then Yours my pulls star it right back. pulls it back. And so. Oh, Ryan. That's good. It's Ryan, good why? Yep. Why must we are it be in like this? Round four of the game. Round four. Let's see what we can do. I need those. That mm -hmm. right here. I'm going to. I'm going to. Okay, so let's go one, two. Okay. Moving there. Um, sorry, this is the card that I'm playing. This one right here. Mm -hmm. And so one, two, and then I'm doing one. And so I've met the the pattern. One, two, three, one, oh, two, three. Oh, you're the little guy back there. You're yeah, a little, <laughs> little, little short dude. <laughs> it's Bugsy Malone oh. back there. Um so uh, I've met that I got a new star card, so I'm going to check that and feel okay about that. And so I'm done with my offensive setup. It is now no defense. star cards. No star cards. Are you moving anybody? Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. I have to move the correct one. Yep. This this is the problem. I don't like it. Your inside guys are covered. Mm -hmm. Um. I have to cover this three. Yeah. I have to. Yeah. So I'm not shooting. I'm not making anything. No points. So no points. One, two, but three. But you were all able to draw covered, a star card for next time. But I got a star card, which was the purpose behind. Yep. Okay. Okay. And so I am the red down. player. I you must not up. forget that. I don't feel good about this last turn. Don't Feeling feel right. good about it. Again, this is crunch time. It's a basketball highlights crunch time from Eagle Griffin Games. Real solid. Real solid. It's game. it's surprisingly, surprisingly surprising. Like I was not expecting as much complexity in yeah. repositioning the yeah. pieces. I still have my two moves to make. Because it's not a very big board. Not you look at, at all. It it's very unassuming. It's a small board, five pawns. I mean, there's barely any open spaces. It's the movement that gets you. Oh, the movement is getting me. Much like the rhythm. Uh, we are going to go here. Here. And that's going to net me a star card. Okay. Which I will use immediately to shoot from the three point spot. Okay. I'm too far away. And that's fine. It happens. It does happen. It does happen. Uh, I am, however, um, I'm going to maneuver myself. You're not shooting at the top of the key. So, where do I want to put myself? Because this is going to matter for next turn, not necessarily one, two. I think you want to move all your players all into two point shooting range. Two point shooting range. Let's go right here. Oh. That's unfortunate. 
All right, and then I'm going to play Ooh, star card, which is going to. You are covered there. This yep. one right okay. there. Okay. Okay. So shooting. Yep. Um. Three points. Three points, and then one, three two, points. Three. And then he gets the star card. Yep. One, two, three. And then the other guys are blocked. And then you pull it back to your direction. And then two, my direction, one, two. Okay. That's it. All right. And that was your last, uh, well, that single was your, turn. Yep. yeah, last single turn. Are you uh, out of star cards? No, uh, you still I've have got one. one star card. So oh, now this is round five. I'm going to play two of these cards. Um, and I want to make the most out of it. One, two. Um, that's not going to work. Let me look at my star card. Let's see. Okay. Oh, man. I'm not getting a star card off of this, but oh, my no. two cards that I am Oh, play, no. <laughs> Man, they're going around. That is so many three pointers. Around the three, and so those are my oh two my movement. Goodness, um, I don't accomplish any of the patterns to get a new star card, but I do have a star card that I can play, and it's going to be this guy right here. Well, so what are you blocking? I'm still getting a bunch of points. You are getting so many points, but I am not going to let you end the game. Um, I. As long as I block a three-pointer, yeah, I'm yeah. okay. So I'll pull this guy in here. Okay. Um, I am also going oh, to star card like at the top. I don't like it. And so that'll offset nicely. Okay. So it looks like you're pulling in... So we'll resolve this oh, card first. Oh, no! <laughs> hang <laughs> on. Hang hang on. Hang on. No, 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 no. Are you no, seeing no, that? No, I'm seeing my okay. error. Oh, no! <laughs> Wow, I just realized that once they're both doubled up. Yeah. Okay, can I do anything about this? I don't think so. I think you, you just have to block. I you just think have to you block to end it. I don't. Uh, we'll see. Um, if this is a nine point, no, nine points will put you on fourteen. But you got more than that. All right, hang on. Sorry, okay, let me yeah. not get it. Yeah, let no, me stick with good. my initial play because I, I can't. I can't stop a double shot. Can. Yeah. So let's go ahead and start resolving them. Okay, this three one points blocked. Three points. One, two, three. Yes. Um, blocked, and then no shooters. So this card's done. Yep. This one right here, blocked, three. One, two, three. Uh-huh. Blocked, three. One, two, three. Now comes the question. Yeah. We so may have to consult the You're rules. scoring three points here, okay? Well, because, well, you score yours first, score so mine. that pushes yeah, you one, over. Two, Does it end immediately, I, no, I or do you finish scoring finish and scoring, then end? Finish okay. scoring, yeah. And then you're going to pull it back down. Yeesh! One, two, three. All right, and that's it. Star cards go back to wow, the bottom Ryan. of the deck. Well, I think you're going to get your W. I think I'm getting that win. But I'm um, not going down without a fight. But... It, you beat me by seven last game. I don't think I'm going to beat you by seven. I think you're going to be pretty close because I'm uh, I've got I'm cardless. You almost made me break card. formation, but I'm going for the top of the three point oh, yeah. line. Nice, and then right down pull, the middle. But you're already there. Yeah. yeah. So conveniently, your coverage is already set. Yeah. But I believe. Uh yeah, you have. All I have just of your satisfied people. both. Yep. So star cards. I've yep. got a three. That's a three pointer. I've got a three. That's a three. So let's see what this looks you get, like. You get your one movement for uh yeah my one movement. It's I don't only think one. you go anywhere. No, I don't go anywhere. Okay. It, yeah, I'm blocking the threes, and so that's fine. Ugh. So blocked, blocked, blocked. Two, two points. points. And so this card satisfied. That's done. These three All blocked, blocked. Two blocked, points. Blocked, two. One, two. Oh my goodness. Um, that card satisfied. And you get your three points. Three and here. three. One, two, three. And then three points. So not on by this seven. Card. One, two, three. Just by four. All right. The cameras. And that's it. The but camera did it. Yeah. This one was not play mistakes. This one was just That's uh, sure. Well, we played well, it a couple times yeah. ahead of time, which is I think good. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. figured out how I operate. This is good. <laughs> this is it's, really good. It's real solid. I, I really so. enjoy it. It's accessible. 
Yeah. It it yeah. plays quickly, um, and you still get to have some light strategy for those yeah. who like to kind of think a few moves ahead. Yeah. So, I, and truthfully, like if you look at the cards that I had, um, it, I was. In round two, I set these two cards to be my fifth round cards, mm -hmm. you know. And if you're not thinking about the fifth round in Same the beginning thing. of the game. yeah. Same thing with my round yep. five. Yep. I said, hey, these overlap so nicely. I know that's going to be a two card turn. Yeah. Um, and then to think about the end game at the start of the game. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to set up my my early game to allow for plays up front. Yep. However, Ryan started pulling me out of position immediately with a bunch of really killer three-pointers yeah. that uh, I had to be ready to answer lest I let the game run yeah. away. So it's that good. was really good, Ryan. It's nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, with 69 cards in the deck, no two game, games are going to be the same because you're going to have different shot cards every single time you play and the patterns are slightly different. Um Really solid game. Really enjoyed this one. So, again, this was Crunch Time. If you haven't seen it, that's Eagle Griffin Games. Um, this one is from uh, the Kicks, the Game Found project that they just fulfilled. Uh, the, this along with Tannis and um, uh, a Bard's Day Night uh, or a, a, a Bard's Day. I've got it right over there. Uh, uh, a Bard Day's Night. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So I knew I had the title, but it sounded weird coming out of my mouth. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much to Eagle Griffin Games for thank providing you. us a copy and uh, allowing us to uh, to uh, uh, show you this game. Again, this is Crunch Time. Be sure to check the uh, show description to find out how you can pick up a copy of the game from Eagle Griffin Games. And uh, until next time, we'll see you at, at the, the table. table.